That's a whale heart. That's a whale heart? Yeah. Wow. That's not the size of it, is it? Yes. Yeah. We're the Farnsworths. We're working on our fifth year of full-time living in our RV as a travel nurse family. Come along with us on contract number 14 in Worcester, Massachusetts, as we explore beautiful New England this fall. We're on a mission to visit all six states in New England from our central location in Worcester, Massachusetts. We've explored several areas in Massachusetts, gone up to Bar Harbor, Maine, and visited the White Mountains of New Hampshire. Today we're headed south on a little seaport safari to the coastal cities of New Bedford, Massachusetts, Newport, Rhode Island, and Mystic, Connecticut. Goodbye, Cape Cod! Did you guys have fun in Cape Cod? Yeah. <laughs> Did you get it all? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was fast. Yeah. First stop on our way to Rhode Island today, we're stopping in New Bedford. I believe we're still in Massachusetts. I think so. I think we're still in Massachusetts. We're going to go check out the New Bedford Whaling National Historic Site and get our stamp at the book and learn a little bit about it before we head on over to Newport. So originally, we were thinking that we might go to Providence, Rhode Island, but resounding, like almost unanimously, people said, no, you should go to in Newport. Newport. If you can only go to one city in Rhode Island, you should go to Newport. So we're on our way to Newport and New Bedford happens to be on the way there. So that's why we're gonna stop and check out this. We're gonna like hit lots of sea, little sea towns and villages today. Clay, what kind of whale is that? It is a beluga whale. We're, we saw one of these. We have seen one of those. Fun fact about whales. Did you know they have the biggest hearts on the planet? The heart of the blue whale weighs more than a thousand pounds. That's a whale heart. That's a whale heart? Wow. That's not the size of it, is it? Yes. Yeah. It pumps about 60 gallons of blood each beat. In comparison, a human heart pumps merely 2.4 ounces with each beat. In the 19th century, New Bedford gained a worldwide reputation as the greatest whaling port and the richest city per capita in the world. It was known as the city that lit the world as whale blubber was rendered into lantern oil and candles. The industry peaked between 1846 and 1852 and stopped whaling altogether by 1927. All right, well that was so, that was, I'm glad we, I'm really glad we stopped. We're, we have to go kind of quick because we didn't actually plan to stop, but we got to learn all about the whaling um, industry and how it made the town of New Bedford. And Chloe was very sad. She said, I don't like this film because of all the whales. <laughs> We're, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we are off to Newport. I think we're gonna grab some quick lunch and then continue on our way. I do wish we had a little more time to, to visit here because New Bedford seems like a really cute town and the ships look really interesting, but we just don't have time. There was just so much to see and do in so little time. By the time we made it to Newport, we were really tired, mostly just drove around. Luckily, there's a lot to look at from your car. A drive down Bellevue Avenue is worth it to see the mansions of Newport, originally called cottages. They were built as summer homes in the 1850s and 1900s by wealthy tycoons of New York and Philadelphia. We also took the famous Ocean Drive and took in some epic views of the Atlantic Ocean as we got out to stretch a bit before heading on to Mystic. If you have kiddos, you know. If you plan too much stuff in one day, everyone gets super tired so we've decided that even though the cliff walk would be really cool uh we're all even even john and i we're all really tired and so we just drove through the neighborhood of the of the mansions and got a little glimpse of those which is really cool now we're on the ocean drive we'll try to get some footage of that and we're 
basically going to kind of just drive right through Newport and head on to Mystic as we are just short on time. And at least we can say we saw the shoreline, we saw Newport. Uh, maybe we'll come back again someday and explore yes. a little bit more because it is a really neat area. She's not gonna like this. Is she falling in? I'm falling in. She's gotta be falling in. Poor Cinder. <laughs> One thing we've noticed about New England is they love their breweries and cider mills, and our family is always up for apple cider in the fall. Clyde Cider Mill in Mystic is a fun stop for everything apple. In addition to hot cider and donuts, they also have hard cider and wine, both with free tastings. Okay, our first stop in Mystic, Connecticut is going to be Clyde's Cider Mill. We've been in the car a lot today, so we're gonna go stretch our legs and see what we can find before we head down to the port. This line is the same line Dad's in. It wraps, it wraps all the way around the building. While the mill on display is a working mill where their products are made, it was not running at the time that we visited. Be prepared if you go, there's apparently always a line. Not for you, not for you. That's good. It tastes like candy to me. Like raw candy. Uh-huh. Well, John and I have tasted some of the ciders. They have cider wine. Hard cider. I've learned some stuff. It's kind of neat. So the cider is unfiltered, right? Because it's all apple stuff mixed with everything else. And then the wine is filtered. So it's essentially a little bit smoother. Mm -hmm. But in the process, it's like basically like juice and then wine and then cider and then vinegar. <laughs> Which they have that too. Yeah. <laughs> so we have decided we're going to get the pumpkin, no, spider cider. Yeah, so definitely this one. Yeah. Did you want to get spiced or do you want to get house? Let's get house. House was definitely sweet. Yeah. Let's get, let's get house. Let's get house. Are you cold? Yeah. Is your slush making you colder? Uh, you... Actually, no. It's I don't just. Think anybody's gonna eat pizza. <laughs> yeah, I know. How, have you been eating a bunch of donuts? I ate two. But then I did the math and I'm like, I'm not going to eat anymore because everybody's going to eat this. Yeah. You should have gotten more than a dozen. You think? You know that a place is going to be good when there's parking like for miles. Right. <laughs> right. Like the whole road yes. is shut down on Google Maps before you even get there. Yes. It's like all red. Yeah. It like, did oh, not disappoint. It was very tasty. <laughs> very tasty. But if I could make a suggestion, maybe early evening is the best time to yeah. come. Very what time busy. is it now? Like six? Five, five o'clock ish. Yeah, yeah. Uh, plan to spend fifty bucks, easy. Yeah, actually, it wasn't as expensive as I thought it was nope. gonna be. It was fairly nope. reasonably we got, priced. Uh, we got a gallon of cider. We got a dozen donuts. We got two bottles of wine. Yeah, and, a, a turnover. and stuff for yeah, just to eat. Yeah, so I think everybody we got hot good. cider. So for our final stop of the day, we plan to head into downtown Mystic and walk along the water's edge. You might have heard of this little old pizza shop called Mystic Pizza from the 1988 movie with Julia Roberts. We picked up a few slices to go and headed down to the boardwalk to see if we could catch the drawbridge raise and lower. Those are weights. Those big cement blocks. What? Those are weights and it's gonna come down and the bridge is going to open. Yeah, so 640 is the last one. Oh, 
we are looking over at the Mystic River Highway Bridge and on the 40, 40 past the hour, every hour until 6.40, it raises for boats to come in and out of along here on the Mystic River. So we've got our Mystic Pizza. We're sitting here. The sun is setting, it's beautiful. Now we're just waiting for the bridge to raise. It did not raise. Everyone who watches this, say boo to this. Okay, mystery solved. It only opens at the 40 minute mark if there is a boat waiting, which makes sense. There was no boat waiting and we can't wait around for another hour. So we're gonna go on. <laughs> Our seaport safari had come to a close, and though we had to blitz it, we were really grateful to be able to see the sights and visit a couple states that we had never been to before. Join us next week as we jump into the age of the Industrial Revolution. Thanks for watching. We'll see you out there.